Hello, uh, we are back for our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. I'm Amber. And this is all adult stuff. Probably a lot of fiction and maybe some nonfiction mixed in. Okay, let's go. First one, Danielle Steele. Danielle, Danielle Steele, The Dark Side. And she just does, what does she even do? Like thrillers? Ooh, Danielle Steele talks, tells a riveting story of the dark side of motherhood. <laughs> A new one by Philippa Gregory, Tidelands. She's been writing a lot of... It's been of, a while. Yeah, okay. and also this is... Oh, I guess this isn't that much newer, but it's... Um, it's. I guess it's just maybe not about royal people. I think it's somehow different from the other stuff she's been writing. It's 1948 England, and um, it's about a woman who lives in the remote Tidelands. That's good reviews. Uh, Louise, Louise Penny, didn't she just, didn't we just unbox a new book by her? Maybe an audio what is book? happening right now? I don't know. Yeah, or maybe this is a second copy? A Better Man. I don't think we've seen this. What, what is going on? I'm so confused. Okay, there's flooding. There's, oh, uh, Chief Inspector Armand Gamache returns. So it's... He's like the, the guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. If you read her, I don't read Honestly, her. I think that Louise Penny fans will not care what the book is about. <laughs> That's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> like, they are already, like, knocking down the door. Uh, the Perfect Wife by J.P. Delaney. I'm guessing this is a suspense thriller. Looks that way. And then maybe things are a little more complicated. Oh. She awakes in a daze with a man by her side claiming to be her husband. A titan of the tech, tech world. Claiming to be her husband. Claiming to be what happens. Uh, the Last Good Guy by T. Jefferson Parker. It looks, um, I don't know. Like more action y. Oh, it's a, th yeah, it's a thriller. And P.I. Roland Ford is the main guy, I guess. I like how the cover everything is. It's, uh, I mean, it's different. Like it catches your eye, I yeah. guess, right? Karen Slaughter, The Last Widow. Mm -hmm. Popular. Yeah, she's really popular, and I think this is like just another, yeah, a, a kidnapping, an explosion, a diabolical enemy. Um, so if you thought we were going to be lacking thrillers, you were wrong. <laughs> no worries. Uh, Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. Just like reading the title kind of makes you think, what would I save in a fire? I wonder um, if it's a real fire or like a fire of her life. It takes place in a Boston firehouse. Um, and I think it's, yeah, about strength, it's heartfelt, it's a healing toward the force, so. Okay, to get serious, we have Kochland, The Secret History of Koch Industries and Corporate Power in America by Christopher Leonard. And I think, um, the Koch again, brothers. more like thick nonfiction. Yeah, this is about the Koch brothers. And I think people are going to be really interested in this because they have been up to a lot of stuff. Uh, just wanted to say we have a second Don't copy worry. of The Better Man. <laughs> uh, Preston and Child Old Bones. They put out a lot of stuff pretty regularly. Oh. They bring to they bring new life to the legend of the Donner Party. Oh wow. It's a thrilling blend of archaeology, murder, and suspense. That sounds mm. cool. The Other's Gold by Elizabeth Ames. Hmm. I like the cover. It's yeah, I do different. too. Oh, okay, so it's about two friends who meet in freshman year of college and then uh about them as they, whoa, they each make a terrible mistake as they move from being in college to being new parents. <laughs> it actually says they move from their wild college days to their more feral days as new parents. So they're I more like, feral days? I like the idea that new parents are more feral than college students. It's like totally I mean, true, but I never thought of it quite like that. Yeah, this looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> looks funny, if anything. Yeah. Uh, this is a little book. Travel Light to Move Fast by Alexander Fuller. And this is a nonfiction. She wrote a lot of memoirs. Like she wrote Don't Let's Go to the Dogs Tonight and um, Cocktail Hour Under the Tree of Forgetfulness. She grew up in... Um, 
another country. I can't think of what country. Um, a country in Africa, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's about it's her. Zambia. It has to do with her. She's talking about her dad, I think. Yeah. Her dad, Tim Fuller. Um, so maybe her other memoirs were about her childhood, and this is more about her dad. I don't know. It says it's a master of time and... Oh, she's a master of time and memory. I think that's him on the cover. Maybe presumably with her mother, but... Oh, this book is beginning so much like I do publicity. Not like that title. Nope. <laughs> it's called The Mosquito. Amber really wants to read it. She's just denying. It. I like I feel itchy just like <laughs> reading it. And it's um just oh. a human history of our deadliest predator and sort of looking at all of the ways that mosquitoes, which kill a frightening number of people still today, but definitely throughout history. Um I wonder if it tells, like, what use they have in the food chain. Well, I think there's this whole thing now where there's sort of these ideas to just sort of genetically eliminate mosquitoes, and then they're like, but that might might be better, but it might also destroy the world. Like, it's sort of a tricky okay, uh, I'm intrigued. balance. Um, weirdly, there's no picture section, but I guess nobody wants to look at pictures of mosquitoes. No, not even the cover. Like, why would they do that? I didn't want to hold the book. Okay, the last, uh, last book that's in here, Inland, by... T T T O Brett. Oh, I don't know what the accent mark is supposed to mean. It's an epic journey across an unforgettable landscape of magic and myth. Well, it's fiction. It takes place in Arizona-ish in 1893. Um, it looks like kind of like a western. And she wrote *The Tiger's Wife*, which was very popular, mm. but I never read it. I didn't either. But you know, that's it. We're done. Bye. Thanks.